Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. Today we're doing logical reasoning, counting of figures that is triangle, square, rectangle, and lines. Let us get started. Counting of figures, triangle. Question number one. Count the number of triangles in the given figure. Here we have one rhombus. When a square or rhombus is bisected by two diagonals, we get eight triangles. Similarly, there is one more rhombus, so we will similarly get eight triangles. Then, when one triangle is bisected by a median, we get three triangles. Similarly, in the bottom triangle, when it is bisected by a median, we will get three triangles. Now, after doing all of this, there will be few triangles left. So, counting all of that, we will get the answer as 34. Question number 2. Find the number of triangles formed in the given figure. We know when a rectangle or square is bisected by two diagonals, we get eight triangles. Here, the middle rectangle is bisected by two diagonals. So, from there, we get eight triangles. Again, the rectangle has one more line in the middle. It again gives us two triangles each side. So, totally we get four triangles from here. Top triangles and their diagonals gives us three each. That is, total six triangles. Adjoining triangles give rise to four triangles. Therefore, total triangles we get is equal to 24 triangles, which is more than 20. So, option D. Question number 3. Find the number of triangles formed in the given figure. We'll just count the uh, triangles. 6 plus, 4 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 1, plus 2, plus 1 which is equal to 18 total triangles formed in the given figure. Logical reasoning, question number 4. How many triangles are there in the given figure? First of all, in the total figure is itself a triangle. So, from there we will get one triangle. Then, excluding the top and each corner triangle, in the middle one, we will get six triangles. Then, Excluding the middle triangle and forming triangles using each of the figures, we will get three more triangles. From the top one, we will get uh, one more triangle. Then, counting all the small, small triangles in between, totally we will get 25 triangles. Logical reasoning question number 5. Find the number of triangles formed in the given figure. For this, we'll just count all the triangles. So, counting, we'll get 8 plus 2 plus, plus 3 plus 2. That is equal to totally 15. So, logical reasoning question number 6. Count the number of triangles in the given figure. So, as we can see here, when... Two triangles join together by overlapping themselves. We can see that smaller triangles are formed within. So, we should count the bigger ones and the smaller ones made by these two triangles. So, similarly counting all of these, we will get the answer as 20 triangles. Logical reasoning question number 7. Count the number of triangles in the given figure. Counting the number of triangles, we will get 4 plus 10 which is equal to 14. Logical reasoning question number 8. How many triangles are there in the given figure? In a star figure, we can get total number of 8 triangles. So, outside the star, we get 6 more. So, 8 plus 6, which is equal to 14. Logical reasoning counting of figures square. Question number 9. Count the number of squares in the given figures. So, there are totally 5 big squares in the given figure. But for now, we'll take only four squares in consideration because the phi square is common to all of the other squares in the given figure. So, in using one unit squares in one square, we will get nine squares. Then using two unit squares, we'll get four more squares. Three unit squares, we'll get one more square. So, in one box, we have totally 14 squares. Therefore, in box 2, 3 and 4, 
we have 56 total squares. Now let us look at, into the box 5. So as we can see here, why have we ol only taken these 5 parts into consideration? Because this one side has been taken into box 1 and this other side has taken into box 2 and the bottom ones have been taken into 3 and 4 boxes respectively. So if we count this, we will get totally 6 squares. That is 1 unit square 5 and 3 unit squares 1. And 2 unit squares, we will get 4 squares. So total number of squares is equal to 56 plus 6 plus 4 which is equal to 66 total squares. Logical reasoning counting of figures cube. Question number 10. Count the number of cubes in the given figure. As we can see here, we have 3 into 3 cubes in the top layer, which is equal to 9. 3 rows to the bottom, 3 rows of 9 cubes each. So, total cubes is equal to 9 into 3, which is equal to 27 cubes. Now, in the top, we will see that similarly, there are 2 into 2 cubes in the top layer, which are equal to 4. And there are 2 rows of 4 cubes each. So, total cubes is equal to 4 into 2, which is equal to 8 cubes. And 1 cube in the topmost layer. So total cubes in the figure is equal to 27 plus 8 plus 1 which is equal to 36. Logical reasoning counting of figure square. Question number 11. How many squares are there in the given figure? Let us first separate this figure into squares to our convenience. Number of 1 unit squares is equal to 4 and 2 unit squares is equal to 5. In the first figure that we have divided. The second figure, 1 unit square is equal to 4 and 2 unit squares is equal to 1. So there are totally 10 squares in the given figure. Logical reasoning question number 12. Count the number of squares in the given figure. Similarly, as we did in the last question, we are going to separate all these figures into smaller ones for our convenience to count the number of squares. So counting, we will get total 5 squares in each of the first and second figure. Now in the third figure, if we see, we will get 4 squares. Then in the total figure, we will get another 4 squares. So the total number of squares is equal to 18. Logical reasoning counting of figures rectangle. Question number 13. Count the number of rectangles in the given figure. So, as we know that every square is equal to a rectangle, but vice versa is not possible because every rectangle is not equal to a square. We are going to also take the square into consideration to count the number of rectangles. So, if we do that, we will get 1 unit square, 4 squares and 2 units as 1 square. Then, now we are going to see the rectangle in each of the squares. So if we see this, vertically we will get the two rectangles. Then horizontally we will get another two rectangles. So total number of rectangles for the first figure that we have divided is 9. Now in the second figure, similarly if we do, we will get 11. So, adding them, we will get 20 as the answer. Logical reasoning, counting of figures, line. Question number 14. Find the maximum number of straight lines required to draw the given figure. We will just count this number of horizontal lines is equal to 3. Vertical lines is 3. And the number of slanting lines is equal to 10. So, total number of lines is equal to 16. Logical reasoning question number 15. Find the minimum number of straight lines required to draw the given figure. So number of vertical lines is equal to 8. And number of horizontal lines is equal to 6. So number of slanting lines in the given figure is equal to 14. So total number of lines is equal to 28. Logical reasoning question number 16. Find the minimum number of straight lines required to draw the given figure. Similarly, number of vertical lines is equal to 3, horizontal lines is equal to 5, and slanting lines is equal to 
8. Total lines is equal to 16. So that is more than 12. So the answer is D. Counting of figures, line question number 17. How many minimum number of straight lines are required to form the given figure? Here we have total 5 rectangles. And each rectangle has 2 horizontal lines and 2 vertical lines, which means 4 total lines in each rectangle. So therefore, 4 into 5, which is equal to 20 straight lines. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.